Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is about concentration of a solution expressed as part per million, which we call PPN. Then let's look at the definition. Using parts per million PPM for calculating very small concentration of a solution. So PPM means this P, the first P means part. The second P is per, the M is million. So the, uh, the definition is concentration of PPM solution equals amount of solute over amount of solution times 10 to the 6 exponent per milli. Because this one actually 10 to the 6 is milli over milli. This is a 1, right? But when we got this number, which is a fraction, then times 10 to the 6, which you got the per milli. So PPM of solute, which is mass of solution over mass of solute plus mass of solvent, and multiply 10 to the 6 per million. So when we given the solute and the solvent both in mass, we use any unit as long as the mass of solute has same unit with mass of solvent. The same unit for both solute and the solvent. And also solvent is the substance doing the dissolving and in any mixture is the larger portion. Let's look at the question. Question one, a 7.5 grams Example of groundwater was found to contain 18.2 micrograms of zinc ions. Two plus zinc ions. What is the concentration of zinc ions in parts per million? So parts per million expressed as the unit for very small concentration of solution contain very small so because in this question we say we're looking for the concentration of zinc ions so the ppm the zinc to plus in ppm can be expressed equal the mass of solute which is to contain 18.2 micrograms of zinc ions. So this is the mass of solute. It's 18.2 micrograms. And the bottom is mass of solution, which is the groundwater. And the 7.5 grams, this is grams. But this is micrograms, so that's why we need to change 7.5 grams to micrograms. Also, you can convert micrograms to grams. But for convenience, uh, I feel like uh, to convert grams to micrograms is much easier because 1 grams equals 1,000 milligrams and 1 milligrams equal 1,000 micrograms. So that's why 7.5 grams, we can multiply 10 to the 3 exponent to convert to milligrams, and times another 10 to the 3 exponent to convert to micrograms. So then multiply 10 to the 6 exponent and the per million. Then we can see 10 to the 6 exponent, and this is 10, 3, 10, 3 is 10, 
to the six exponent, these two can be canceled out. So leave as 18.2 micrograms divided 7.2 micrograms. So we got the 18.2 micrograms divided 7.5 micrograms. We got 2.4. Four three. We got two point four three because we only have uh, this is three sigma figures, two sigma figures. That's why we only choose two sigma figures. Two point four. This is uh, per million, right? Parts per million. This is uh, because this is a cancel out. We got the, no unit. This is per million. So this is a per million, which is p. P n. So 2.4 ppn. This is the concentration of zinc ions. Okay, the second question I'd like to show you is calculate the mass of a drug in milligrams for a 5.0 ppm solution if the mass of the solution is 10 grams. This question, you're given information is the ppm concentration, which is 5.0 ppm. And the mass of solution is 10 grams. We're looking for the mass of solute. So we can write, follow the formula, we can write, start from 5.0 ppm, 5.0 ppm, which is the concentration of this solution, equals to the top is mass of solute, which we're looking for. We put the x, right? The bottom, the mass of solution is 10 grams. Even we're looking for the milligrams, but now the 10 grams is solution. If we do first keep this one at the same unit, right? So then multiply 10 to the 6 per million. This is exactly follow the formula, you just plug the number in, leave the x. But when you calculate the x grams, so this part, we can say this is a 1. This part equals 1, right? 10 to the 6 over a million, which is equal 1. So we just uh, got the x in grams equals what? Equals 5 ppm multiplied 10 grams, which is 5.0 ppm times 10 grams. How to do this kind of question? So <laughs> let me show you this one. So this one equals because 5 parts, 5.0 parts per million. So if this is grams, we choose 5 grams, 5 parts in million. Million is 10 to the 6, right? Then times 10 grams. In this situation, we got 5.0 times 10 to the, because this is grams, the answer is grams, and this is a cancel one zero with one zero, we got the negative five exponent grams. But we're looking for milligrams. That's why we need to convert 5.0 times 10 to the negative 5, and 1 grams you call 1,000 milligram, times 10 to the 3 exponent and milligrams. So we got 5 times 10 to the negative 2 milligrams. So also we can write 0 0.05 milligrams. 
So in 10 grams of this solution, and the, the mass of drug is 0 0.05 milligrams. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you. Have a nice day.